Welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen. Today we want to try and solve a very common problem. Many people learn the sum if function and think that while the sum if is really cool, it can't solve two conditions. If we want to sum all of the records where the product is ABC and the sales rep is Amy, there's no good way to do that with sum if. I'm going to break this problem down for you. And basically we're using the same logic that we used for the past couple of podcasts, these logical formulas. The first thing we have is a formula that says, is the sales rep in this cell in B equal to Amy down in B102? And then we have a second formula that says, is the product in D2 equal to ABC? In this case, it's true. And then we learned yesterday that instead of combining those with an and, we can actually multiply the result in F by the result in G and get a zero or a one, one meaning they're both true, zero meaning one of them is false. And so then my trick, take the sales in column E and multiply it by the result of anding those two conditions together. So now let's go back to our formula. We have a big long formula here that basically says we're going to look at every cell in column B and see if it's equal to dollar sign B102, the dollar sign before the B, so that way I'm able to copy it, and then multiply that result by everything in column D being compared to ABC here in C101. And I put a dollar sign before the 101. And then finally, I take both of those numbers, basically anding them together, and multiply it by the sales in E2 to E99. Dollar signs everywhere there. Okay, now, instead of just hitting Enter to accept this formula, we have to hold down Control, Shift, Enter to tell Excel that it's an array formula. And we have our result. Now, we need to copy this to the other 11 cells in our range. But there's a problem. If you try and copy and then paste to the whole range, Excel will yell at you and say that you can't change part of an array. So we click OK. What you have to do first is do one copy and paste to the rest of the column and then copy that whole column and paste to the new columns. There you have it. Using Boolean logic and an array formula to solve the sum if problem where you have more than one condition. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you tomorrow for another podcast from Mr. Excel.